From LEX 18, your official UK sports station for Big Blue Nation, this is BBN Tonight. Presented by UK Federal Credit Union. Good evening and welcome to BBN Tonight. I'm Anna Tarullo. And I'm Keith Farmer. Hope everyone is staying dry <laughs> out there, at least trying to. Been a rainy day yeah. here in Lexington, Anna. Good That's time right, to stay in and watch BBN yeah, Tonight. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> we'll try to brighten things up, too, with a fun interview with Caitlin Hutchison. She's an incoming grad transfer for the UK track team, but she's also becoming a media star in the track world, yeah. too. Plus, we have a roundup of cats in the NFL news, but we'll start with someone who's hoping to be in a similar roundup next year. It's Will Levis, Kentucky's QB1. Here's how he remembers two of the defining moments of last season. The Cats' electric win over the cards and the improbable comeback he pulled off against Iowa. On this holiday weekend, football fans in the Commonwealth give thanks for the return of the Governor's Cup rivalry. I just remember that game, part of the game plan was to have me uh, run a little bit more, but it was maybe a couple design runs. It wasn't really much other than that. I expect him to run the ball a lot tonight, yeah. too, because they're going to, their team to play some man coverage. I think there's going to be some holes for him. I knew that as soon as I transferred, I would constantly hear stuff like from fans before the season when they saw me, whether it was just good luck. It was either good luck or you better beat Louisville this year. It took until that Louisville week for me to, to really get it, and but I bought into it. And I, I think that any way you can make football fun and you can make just uh, your guys a little more motivated, then you got to take that when you can. See if they run it. No, they're going to throw a quarterback draw. It's Levis. Got it. Levis, another quarterback draw, five, Touchdown. and goes in, untouched. <laughs> Touchdown! Louisville brings four. Levis going to run at the five, and goes in! <laughs> yes! Levis under center. Quarterback keeper bounces off to the right and goes in again. <laughs> four of them for Will Levis, <laughs> tying the school record as the quarterback. Under good! Before the play started, Coach Cohen specifically told me, if it's not there, throw it out of bounds. Don't run. He did not want me to run the ball at all. And so I made the fake, and it wasn't there. And then just this C just like opened up. So I'm just like, all right, well, I can't not run this. So I remember going up the middle, made an attempt at a juke move that had never worked for me in my life that somehow worked. And then um, the kid I could tell was going to be going for my legs. So I just went over the top of him. So. Two, uh, two guesses that ended up both working out and that uh, caused for a pretty good highlight, I'd say. 25, oh! hurls the defender at the 20, inside the 15-yard oh! line! Who is this guy? Superman! You're almost giddy at times. You're like, is this real? Is this real life? Like, this guy's a beast. It was like whatever he wanted to do, he was going to do it, especially once they got to the red zone. And how about that man right there? If you didn't know the name Will Levis before tonight, you know it now. <laughs> that athleticism, you know, I, I didn't see it as much when he was younger. He's just, he, he's now using that as much as he can to his advantage, along with also being a great passer. I know that the team feeds off of him, for sure, in some ways. He's just, he's just a dog. Definitely showed that uh, we were the better team that night. to play against an Iowa team that I had actually had the opportunity to start against the year before and then ultimately got pulled. This felt like a revenge game for me and that I had the opportunity to, to show and to try to beat this team. Another pass play. Levis looking, throwing, dumping it off. Rodriguez into the end zone. Touchdown, Kentucky. I think we all had confidence that we were going to make those plays to get down there. Now we scored rather quickly, which put the defense, who was really short-handed, uh, back out there, but as a team, uh, we did what was necessary. The game started very, very well. The middle was, there was some anxiety and, and some pressure, I think, you know, those second and third quarters throughout the game. There was a couple drives going on and I was kind of getting mad, but went over Coach Cohen and Coach Merrill. That was one of those moments that I realized that I could trust those coaches and I could actually go up to them and tell them how I feel. It. Big time players make big time plays in big time moments. And if I was going to go to anyone in, the, in that moment, in that kind of, Situation. I was going to throw the ball to Wandell. Kentucky looking for its second Citrus Bowl win on the first day of 2022 as Levis drops. 
Throws over to the far got side. He's got Robinson at the 30, 25, flips the tackle. He's at the 20, he's at the 10. Makes the man miss inside the one yard line. <laughs> and then the next play, we put did a little like power read on the end. And luckily, held him just enough to not make the play on Chris because I think in the, at the end of the day, I probably should have pulled it, but gave it to Chris. He breaks the tackle on the end, ends up in the end zone, and I was just like, thank goodness. Levis takes the snap, gives it to Rodriguez, hitting the backfield, breaks away to the five, hit at the one, goes in! As Chris retreats, blitz coming, Corker just misses him, and he throws into the middle of the field. Intercept! come here and to make the decision betting on myself trusting God's light and coming here and to be a leader for this team um, it makes it it makes it so easy when I got guys like to my left and my right around me to uh, go out there and to just be my best and to try to do my best to lead these guys in however I can that was a, a really special win because it was truly a team effort his strength his leadership his passion that toughness he has it start, certainly starts with him but that carries over to the whole team. We'd never been able to pull something off like that all year. So for it to finally come together and for us to put together that two minute drive and, and to score while being down with such a little time left, that was just such a great way to end the season. It was such a, such a great game and we were able to get down on the field afterwards and the girls were able to celebrate with Will um, all together. And it, it just doesn't happen very often in our family where all six of us are in the same room together, much less being able to enjoy such a special moment that the Kentucky football team was able to gift us. Being there and, and being the father of the starting quarterback in that situation, that was really, really cool. Future for me, I think right now, obviously my only focus is on this team and to get us ready for, for week one. And right now it's not even that far. It's just to get our bodies in shape and to make sure that come camp that we're ready to roll. Man. Yeah, taking the steps they need to take. Yep. So fun to look back on the season, yes. some of those big moments, especially the way yeah. to hear how they happened. Uh -huh. And I forgot, Kentucky was underdogs in that Louisville game. Uh, yeah. What? I'm right. still mad about that, even when they won. <laughs> big thanks to UK Sports Video for putting that together and allowing us to show it to you. Coming up next, meet Caitlin Hutchison, who's already interviewed Sydney McLaughlin and Abby Steiner, but now she's ready to start her own career in the blue and white. You're watching BBN Tonight. We'll be right back.